Hi, so today we will be upgrading this skateboard, electric skateboard, with hub motors to direct drive. This is pretty much a standard hub motor similar to the ones found in Meepo, whereby the back wheels are hub motors, there's the controller, and on the front is the battery itself. One problem with hub motor is that they're not very comfortable as compared to real wheels. This is just a PU polyurethane covering the hub motor. And this can get pretty hot. And you can see that the PU is very thin, so thereby the comfort level is not that great. So today I bought some direct drive from Bell Motors. These are pretty much similar to the ones that you've probably seen from eLofty, selling for about $400 to $600. Inside the package is the... It doesn't look anything like the photos that you see online. You can see that some assembly is required. Here's the uh, front truck. The direct drive motors themselves. Here are some, I forgot what these are called. And I'm having problem getting it out with just one hand. And you can see that it is not assembled and you have to assemble it. This is the Kegel core adapter. Here are some uh, bearings, some hardware, and spacer. From the package, I also bought some wheels. These are massive wheels. So the ones that you see from Meepos are about 90 millimeter. And this one is about 105 maybe, I forgot. They're bigger, that's for sure. Here you can see the width or the depth of it. It's about thicker as well. All right, shall we start? Once I release all the screws, I pop the uh, cover over Disconnected all the uh, power cables right here. Disconnected the uh, hub motor wiring. They are protected with a clear heat shrink. So you'll need a uh, knife, a uh, sharp scissor to cut the uh, heat shrink. Loosen the uh, kingpin nut. Lift the hub motor straight out. I'm using a drop through so I will have to release all of these nuts and then I can pop this thing out from the other side. Alright so here is the new double kingpin along with the truck along with the uh, direct drive install. I'm kind of scared hopefully everything works out well. Who knows. we're going to install this uh, adapter and then we'll use these uh, nut steps that was provided to go straight into the uh, adapter onto the uh, motor itself. I disconnected the uh, Meepo hub motors and I connect this direct drive into the, uh, into the controller. So here are the three wires for the motor, for now the uh, sensor wires is not connected because the coloring scheme does not match with the meepos. When I spin the wheel, it makes this noise. I don't know if you can hear or not, but let's come closer. The reason why I put stickers on is because for you to notice how much it spins. 
If I spin a lot, there's a lot of resistance and I feel this clicking noise. It's clicking into position. So you can see that it doesn't really roll freely as with the previous Meepo hub motors. The same thing goes for the other side as well. I'm not going to spin it because it's the same thing. Let's power it on. Here's the uh, Meepo remote, version 2 remote, I believe. Alright, let's give it a spin. Did you see that? It didn't really go... Uh, it didn't really f roll freely. It, it stops almost like within a second or two. Let's do one more time. Alright, here's another one. At low speed, you can hear some of the noise. And you, can, and you can see it wobble. Let's get down further and you can see what I mean. So first we're going to do low speed and then we're going to jump to high speed. This is low speed. This is high speed. Here is the uh, bore fully assembled. The front wheels with the double kingpin. That's the uh, battery. Here's uh, some Sucru moldable plastic whereby it makes a really nice contour handle that fits my hand perfectly fine. The controller is now all sealed up. Here are the uh, wires for the direct motor. You can compare it to the old Meepo trucks the old hub motors and you can see that the direct drive is massive it is approximately 14 inches wide and here's the uh, Meepo for comparison I rode it and it is crazy smooth as for the issue regarding the uh, wheels making the noise can you hear it? So when it was spinning without the wheels, it was pretty smooth, but with the wheels on, it was still pretty rough. And I'm guessing that that's because the cheap bearings that came along with it, or maybe the bearings that they sent me was defective. I tried to ride the bearing, just, you know, free roll it, and I can feel the bumps. The, the bearings were not smooth. It was locking in and out. It was definitely not free spinning like a fidget spinner, for instance. So maybe in the future I'll upgrade the bearings, but for now I'm going to use whatever bearings they gave me. At low speed, you can definitely feel it. You can definitely feel the bumps, the uh, grinding, but at higher speed, the bearings are pretty smooth. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, that's when it slowed down and you can definitely hear the grinding noise. At much higher speed, it's very smooth. Right now, the sensor wires are not connected. 
because the sensor uh, female connection is much bigger than the uh, controller from Meepo and I was too lazy to slice it to make it fit so for now the direct drive are running sensorless once in a while when you push the throttle the motors will not spin I'm guessing it's because without the whole sensor it was having issues but that's like 1 out of 10 whereby the motors would not spin and to resolve that all you have to do is kick the uh, skateboard to get a rolling and then you'll, you'll be fine. Here is the side view just to see how much bigger the wheels are and how much bigger the uh, direct drive is for you. There's not much clearance for the direct drive. Here's the uh, ruler for you. It is about one inch off the ground for the direct drive motor before it hits the ground. Hopefully there's not a lot of rocks or pebbles to hit the can. They are mounted drop through to achieve a lower board for higher speed. I don't know if you remember, but the old Meepo with this configuration drop through was 4.5 inches off the ground. But with this bigger motor, it's about five inches now. It is double kingpin and I feel it's really wobbly. Uh, you can do super tight turns now, of course, but at higher speed, it, I don't feel the, the stability as before. Most likely I'll change it back to the, uh, the regular kingpin and not double kingpin. All right, let me know if you have any questions when I convert the Meepo from hub motor to direct drive. Hopefully this video is useful for you to do your own conversion. And hopefully Meepo will do direct drive boards in the future because I feel that they are so much better than regular hub motors.